And of course, if you're out of walking and you hear that howl of the bus horn, the bus with your name on it, well, just get ready because Merry Christmas. Well, howdy, 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 near the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this a brand new day, son of a gun. Oh boy, yesterday was quite a day. And not only because when I went out for my daily errands, that uh, wasn't quite a daily errands thing, but we'll get to that. It started to snow toward the end. And by the time I got back, it was snowing hard. And I don't know if it's raining or if it's melting, but the way it sounds, I think it's raining. There was snow this morning. There, there's barely any left, so yay. But still, front-loading of videos, hey, if you could toss me a like, that'd be awesome. If you, if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be very cool. If you could leave me a comment, any comment even for the algorithm, that would be double plus good. And I would like to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. These are literally beautiful and literally awesome people who are, in fact, literally beautiful and literally awesome, helping to keep me and my pets, however many I have at the time, just one right now, hopefully a hamster soon, alive it is greatly greatly appreciated i enjoy metabolizing and i know my pets do too if you could oh itchy nose my sincere apologies if you could become a patron and help to keep me and my pets alive that would be awesome i have links in the video description along with a paypal for possible donations and amazon wish those things with link wish list link i can speak english this morning i promise with things like cat food on it and an, a post office box where anybody that sends me anything at all i'll open it up on camera and it'll be good so thumbs up on that yay <laughs> front loading of awkward uh video stuff there i'm still being awkward good morning <laughs> I am very, very tired, hokey smokes, and my legs are sore, which they really shouldn't be, but they are. I talked about yesterday how I needed to go to the Department of Social and Health Services so I could get my paperwork done so I could get my medical not turned off. So I left close, well, sometime between 1.15 and 1.30. I'm not exactly sure when, but it was after 1 o'clock, before 1.30, closer to 1.30 than not. So it was right in that time frame. It took, of course, you know, almost an hour to walk there, out to that office here, nearly to Walmart. Walmart is three miles away, so it's like two miles. It takes a while to get there. <clears throat> and then I waited for about an hour which is life, so I just sat there trying desperately not to fall asleep the entire time and then waking up when I was like this and then pulling myself back up and trying to stay awake. So that was fun, but I finally got the, well, they pulled me back for an interview, but it wasn't with the actual people. They set you at a window with a desk and such and a phone, and then the phone rings and you talk and I answered questions. They filled in the proper paperwork on their side and everything is fine. Well, fine in that the uh, Medicare and part and all that is still being taken care of and that's good. The, on the way, my uh, food stamps, once the whole Kofefe bug thing is, uh, the federal part is over, it's gonna go from 250 bucks a month. Gosh, my nose is so itchy, my apologies. 250 bucks a month to feed myself to 150 bucks to feed myself and there are times that I don't have enough money to well money food stamps to eat for an entire month as it is so having a hundred bucks cut off that so that I'll be you know able to spend like four dollars a day to feed myself is going to be fun as it is right now I eat one meal a day and then I graze on stuff like yogurt periodically so thumbs up but I got that done needed to go to Walmart because I was so close and might as well get it done walk to Walmart and while I was there I decided to test life in that there was a car and they were waiting to go and I was here 
very visible and I walked in front of them and they tried to run me over. Now, it would only have hurt me, not killed me. They weren't going very quickly and it, so it wasn't bad, bad, but it was like, I don't walk in front of cars anymore. I mean, that was just a test and this is why. I walk behind cars and that's dangerous because people don't look behind them if they back up. But you know what? I've been walking for seven years and I've never had anyone back up in my direction. But in the past two months alone, I have almost been killed by people driving forward from a stop when they should have seen me and didn't. So joy. Walking in front of cars, I just, I've been refusing to do, decided to test it, and I'm smart not to do so. I just have to treat drivers in cars as if they are random, wild, rabid animals that are unpredictable and desperate to kill. So joy. <sighs> so, needless to say, when I got home at 5 30 four hours after I'd started out and carrying all the stuff on my back and then because the local cannabis shop that I had been going to is no longer going to be having $30 ounces I took another spin that took added a mile to the walk to get to this other cannabis shop <clears throat> The problem with this other cannabis shop is I go to downtown and to Walmart to get stuff done and it's in the opposite direction. So it adds at least an extra mile onto my walk. When I go to Walmart, six miles, that's kind of the extent. I can't really go any further. I'm gonna stress out the nerves in my back and legs and that is horrific. So I can't just swing up and add a mile and some by going up to this other cannabis shop and then going back to where I normally go because hokey smokes, I wouldn't be able to walk all that way. But because this had been broken up into pieces, I decided to take that extra mile walk up to that other cannabis shop and see if they were going to still be having $30 ounces. And I don't know why the other place is deciding not to do this because this other cannabis shop, when I said, do you still carry them? Other places are starting to not. And they said, they are some of our most popular items. So yeah, why would they not sell something that sells well? So they're out right now because it is their most popular stuff. So next week I have to go in and check it out and then hopefully there will be some stuff. I still got plenty to last, so I'm not going to be hurting that way. But it, I'm glad because hokey smokes. If I have to spend like $60 for an ounce, that averages out from what I can afford to about one bowl a day. Now imagine that you have pain where you require, say, an oxycodone tablet. And now you can afford three aspirin once a day. And you gotta go with that. Oh boy. So yeah, at least there's still a place that's gonna be doing that. And that's good. Thumbs up. So, as stated, because of everything that has happened, I didn't get any creative thinking done yesterday at all. I relaxed and got ready for my walk, and of course, as I was getting ready, I get more and more anxious about things, more thing, things, more antsy, more nervous. And so I couldn't do anything creative after I'd finished logging until I got back because I couldn't do anything creative on the walk during the daytime because nervous and have to watch out for everything and everybody. People are crazy. I was walking home the other day. People always are yelling stuff at me when I go walking because I guess I look pretty homeless and people are cruel. 
and I was walking and then all of a sudden I felt a mild bump against the back of my leg and the sound of something falling and I was like, oh, did, did my backpack drop something? No, somebody drove by and heaved a half-eaten McDonald's burger at me. It missed, it hit behind me and then just like the wrapper or something up against my leg and I heard the stuff but <sighs> thumbs up for that. I don't worry about the homeless people that I walk past and there are some homeless people I've come across that have some serious mental issues. I don't blame them. It's not their fault. Life sucks. I've never had an issue with any of these people. Who do I have problems with? People in cars trying to hit and kill me or pitching stuff out of their windows at me. <sighs> but needless to say, again, because of the weather and the snow and how miserable it was, but you know, I didn't mind that part because I like it when it's cold. And then just the general anxiety of getting ready and then doing this stuff and then all the extra walk. I didn't get any creative thought done yesterday. I came back, I ate bad food, and then I just relaxed until it was time to go to bed. I played some video games. I actually have been playing that high on life game, which... This is that bit with by that Justin Roiland fellow and I like the game it is annoying and shallow but for what it is I don't mind that I find it amusing enough and yeah it is not as good as other things and it is just self-referential and otherwise referential so it's kind of like a ready player one in that fashion and then it doesn't do anything clever with the references it makes it just makes references. <clears throat> but at the same time, I mostly like that kind of humor. And apparently there are people that have issues with it when if it's installed on some of their machines and it's inconsistent between machines, which is weird since it's a console. But I actually, I live in Washington State and Microsoft and all their centers are in Washington State, so with Game Pass and streaming, cloud gaming on that, I didn't install it, I just cloud gamed it, and except for a few spots where there was some mighty, horrific screen tearing, it worked great. And I enjoy the game, so thumbs up on that, but past that, that's all I did. So joy! <laughs> I've stated, I'm very sore. My legs are very sore. I still got a lot of stuff to do, so yay. But I got stuff done and I'm no longer anxious about the whole medical part of it and having to get stuff done, so that part's good. If I have anything on my list about other things, well, there is, actually. There's two things. One is largely I, I've been following my subconscious finally in the last couple years working on projects instead of pushing stuff. So, I'm largely at the mercy of what my subconscious is thinking about on my creative stuff. I have been trying to come up with stuff about the whole gray slash shadow cryptids and I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them or just have to drop them as a subject because I've had to make an ultimatum to my subconscious that you need to work on this stuff. I need to have something going on with it. Do I need to work with them and keep thinking about it, trying to think about it, or just drop it? You need to let me know, subconscious. Work on this or not. <laughs> it's got to be done. So hopefully my subconscious is chewing on it. I've been trying to, but when I direct where it goes, it doesn't work well. So I'm waiting for what my subconscious says. And if it doesn't, then I know I got to let it go. Which is fine. So we shall see. But the other thing. The whole AI art stuff was summed up in this one, it, I think it was like a headline or a summary. I didn't get to read the article. I'm not sure what the article was from. This is all I remember about it, but it kind of summed up the whole issue of what 
AI art in all this is, the way it's being pumped out, in that the people that are making the AI stuff are looking at this as it's making art better. In that, is it better that a, an AI, the algorithm, can write 150 books a, a month or is it better that one person can sit down and take a year to write a book that's an actual deep thing? Because that's one of the issues right now with the AI stuff. It's surface level. It takes a look at what is, you know, it, it's like taking a look at cars and just saying, oh, they want the shiny stuff. This is what people like. It's only this. This is what sells. And then you get a car that's only the glitz. None of the actual stuff that makes the car travel. Art is communication. Art is language. Somebody is trying to say something. There is a message inside of it. AI art doesn't have that. There's no message to it. It's all surface level. What is shiny? You know, what will the magpies want? Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you supplant the people that are doing the book a year with, oh, ours is better because it does more, it's not communicating anything other than this is shiny. There's no narrative and people, we are narrative driven creatures. We have been storytellers our entire history. How did our history even last? Through oral history, storytelling, narrative is baked into humanity and art is communication. You need more than just the magpie call of look shiny. So. AI art and stuff, it has its place. And with those chat GPT, the one AI, it, that one text driven one is terrifying. This one person was going through, asked the machine, can you devise a perfect email scheme? You know, a perfect malware thing. And it came up with a plan. And so he asked it if the, the AI could write the thing. And it did. So he had a scam and the code was written to do the scam all from the AI bot that was there. So, yay. I didn't think that I was going to live through this part of the dystopian future. I mean, I've been reading dystopian future stuff since I was young. And while they even predicted climate change stuff from stories back in the 40s and 50s without even knowing they were doing so, I did not expect that it was going to be one of the cyberpunk futures that was going to happen in a, such a dystopian fashion. I mean, the future is wonderful. The future is amazing. I love technology and all that, but hokey smokes. So, because I can't think of anything else to talk about because I'm still sore and nervous from yesterday, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. Gonna go through and thank however many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. And if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count in American Sign Language, American Sign Language, there we go. Ah, uh, see how my brain is working this morning so far. We have Flora Mew. Thank you for feeding the algorithm. Greatly appreciated. Jesse Koskinen. Uh, yeah, it's a Godzilla. And Godzilla is eating and stomping on all these gnomes. So it's a very tiny Godzilla. <laughs> I like this thing a lot. Once I saw it and I actually had money, you know, a couple years back. It was I had to have it. So thumbs up. Thank you. Good to see you. And we have J A double Y, thumbs up. There is Confused Owl29, thank you very much, and always good to see you. And yeah, I am in, actually in terror now whenever I sit on my, my office gaming chair. None I'm in right now. Oh boy, Zach Campbell, thumbs up, thank you. And ah, ah, I love the, that whole D100 dungeon stuff. I finally remembered how to do the whole levers thing. I gotta talk about that again. 
Omnicarp, greatly appreciated, and Shinra. Uh, <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be interesting to be a kaiju. Curtis Carpenter, greatly appreciated, a definite thumbs up. And there is Chris, greatly appreciated. There is Skylar Davis, thumbs up. RJ Mitchell, good to see you in the comments. And that is it. 11 people who left me comments in the past 24 hours. Greatly appreciated. Get me out of hand, into the world, dealing with real people. And that is appreciated. A definite thumbs up. Well, hokey smokes. I am going to be largely recovering from my the stuff I did yesterday. I got to do some more physical stuff that's going to exhaust me. So that's great. <laughs> Yay. But hopefully you can get done the things that you need to get done. That would be good. Don't beat yourself up if you can't. That's not going to help. It's not going to help. And of course, just take care for your situation and location. <coughs> if people are getting sick, uh, just take precautions for that. If people are getting hurt, don't go where they're getting hurt. If it's citywide, I can't help you that way. And of course, if you're out of walking and you hear that howl of the bus horn, the bus with your name on it, well, just get ready because Merry Christmas. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing.